is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another AEW action figure review on the brand new AEW ringside exclusive Unrivaled Collection Jim Ross figure. Yeah, we got good old JR here today. Very excited for this figure as we got a suited figure. I love suited figures. You guys know that they feel excellent in hand. Or if you don't know that, I let you know a lot about it here in the reviews of said suited figures. But this figure is a ringside exclusive, as you guys can see right here. If you guys would like to grab this figure, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles, where you can save 10 percent using code MD toys I do believe this is hitting and getting in stock not hitting but you know it is what it is when I arrived in the mail this thing was beat to hell man I don't know what it is but yeah it's all beat up but I'm opening it anyway so it's all good but here's Jim Ross in the package you guys can see the front viewing window <laughs> what did they freaking include what is it but you got good old JR here, Jim Ross down the side, a good old picture of JR there. You got Unrivaled Collection, number 90 over there. You got number 90 again, AEW logo, great image of him there. I didn't get Checkerboard JR. This isn't Checkerboard JR. Jim Ross signature, watch AEW Dynamite. At the time of recording, oh, a little Ringside Collectibles exclusive logo right here. But at time of recording, it's actually AEW All Out Fan Fest, which we will cover here on the channel probably tonight or early tomorrow morning, so stay tuned for that. But let's shut the hell up, crack Jim Ross out of his packaging, and find out what we got. I'll tell you what we got. Look at it. So here's good old JR out of his packaging, spinning round and round. Do have my gripes about the figure, man. Straight up, definitely have my gripes about the figure, which we'll, of course, get into. We always get into the gripes, and we always get into the positives, and I always give you guys my full-fledged, honest review of all these figures that you're getting your hands on, so you know what you're getting when you grab these figures from anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's Ringside Collectibles, Walmart, Target, Mattel, Jazzwares, don't care, Brad. If a figure's good, I'm gonna let you know about it, and if a figure sucks or has something wrong with it, I'm gonna tell you about it. But you guys know how the reviews work. We're gonna take a closer look at the accessories first and we'll run it back and take a closer look at JR himself and of course look at his articulation look at some comparisons and see what he's all about so getting into JR's accessories, you get a decent amount. I'd say this is probably the most you get with an AEW figure, especially just a random unrivaled figure. I know it's ringside exclusive, so they probably throw a little bit more in there, but with a standard unrivaled or a Nash, you don't get this much. Usually just, you know, a random pair of hands, an extra head, or always the mic. You always get the mic, though. Don't forget about the mic. But you get a few different things here. Items, that is, is kind of what I'm trying to say. I mean, it's laughable at this point. Now, granted, it, it, it like, JR should come with a mic, you know? I know usually he has a headset, but, you know, microphone with him doesn't like you know it's not as, as crazy as like other guys getting mics but that dude somebody out there please god if you're watching this please go look at every AEW figure release I want to do it for the past like couple years and not include every single release because the percentage will be down I want you to please tell me the percentage of figures that come with an AEW microphone across all the different releases all the different packs not including like ring packs but like the two packs the ringside exclusives the supremes the unrivaled the unmatched please Somebody go back and do the stats. I may do a whole damn video on it. I don't know. It's it's nutty. Now, he also comes with JR Signature Hat. Now, it is a bit warped. It's very soft and pliable. I really wish it was, like, stiff and it would hold this shape. You could easily just heat it up with a hairdryer and then uh, wait till it's flimsy. Hold the shape you want and then run it under cold water. It will hold. That's probably what I'll have to do with this, but it does fit the figure well. There's a shot of the JR head, which actually is pretty damn good. Look at that right there. But it does fit the figure well and it looks good on there now. The only problem I have with the hat is when you try to put the sunglasses on here not not sunglasses but regular glasses i feel like the glasses are a bit big as well but you know when you push this on there you are going to get some finagling and you know trying to get that on there without them falling off and you know it just kind of comes with the territory when you're messing with glasses and hats and stuff like that but they look good i like the you know the you do get the glass in there that you can actually see through i like the shape they fit the figure head well you know i don't hate it man pretty good sunglasses why do i keep saying sunglasses they're regular effing glasses they're bifocals okay but they look good you know they're they're tad oversized maybe like 10 to 15 percent oversized but you know they get the job done now for the last accessory you get his spinning office commentary chair now it does not recline okay what the hell I almost broke that i think but you get your wheels here that are okay this actually articulates and spins so that's cool but you know they're not operational wheels anyway you take this and you port it into the hole on the bottom right here it's a little bit stiff to do but you can't get it in there and i think that this 
chair is pretty small, okay? Let's stand up JR next to it. You guys can kind of see the size difference there. I mean, that is a tiny chair, bro. That's a tiny chair. This is like one of the mini chairs you find at Walmart or something, man. Like, look at this chair. This is a regular folding steel chair, and it's like the same size as that. That ain't accurate, bro. Let's compare it to the Mattel one. Let's get the Mattel one in here. So here's the Mattel one. Much, much more realistic right there. Absolutely. Look at that right there. That is so much more realistic. So I can lean back. That's pretty dope, bro. I, li I like that a lot. Let's let's put him in this chair and see what he looks like. I'll put him in both chairs. So let's start off with let's start off with this one just because this is the one he comes with. So you sit him in the chair there. And I guess it doesn't look bad when sitting in the chair. I don't know. It doesn't look that great, man. It does not look that great. Like the, it's a baby chair, bro. That's a baby office chair. And then you stand his A up and you put him in the Mattel one. And that is a lot better proportion. Now his feet don't touch, but uh, he's going to be up under a table or something like that anyway. That looks a million times better. Wow. Yeah, that looks that looks a lot better. And he sits pretty well. I like the articulation stuff. We'll go over it in just a second, but that looks way better in the chair, bro. Look at that right there. Getting the job done in the chair. I like that. Let's go fight somebody. So getting into JR's head sculpt and getting into the figure itself, I actually like this head sculpt without any accessories on it. I think it does capture the likeness of him. He's got a very unique JR look. Beard looks a bit weird, you know? Got a weird beard. Shout out to anybody that knows that reference, but the wrinkles are good. I like the hair color. I think that you do get some nice details in there with the dry brushing and the colors over the other colors and the wash going on. I like it. I like the skin tone. I think it looks pretty good. I, I like it a lot there for Jim Ross. Greatest commentator of all time even though going down into the chest. Not a big fan of the jacket I don't think. Like I, I think this cut right here is very weird. It does give you a little bit of movement. We are going to get into the articulation but you got the striped tie. You got the white collared shirt. You got this going on. Got the jacket. AEW logo there. You guys know that the commentators always wear that. Got the buttons there. The top button is buttoned and the bottom is it very nice etiquette pocket sculpted on there no pinless joints you do have some wrinkles going down on the back there you also got some buttons on the sleeve going down you do have the gray pants underneath here you got a solid gray belt you know nothing too detailed or crazy up under there but we do have these newly tooled and sculpted legs on here which have a lot of articulation the wrinkles look good and stuff like that going all the way down in this gray color then you do have the sculpted shoes in there which look good the dress shoes look really nice so those are nice and they're not a repeat of the other dress shoes these are one of one dress shoes so it is cool to see that but taking a different look at the figure here you guys can see he can't look down and he can't look up because it is actually not a ball or it's a ball hinge you just don't get a lot of articulation out of it because he is wearing a full suit so you know he can't look down that much or he can look up just a tiny bit arms go all the way out by the sides you do get the full bicep rotation you do get a good double jointed arm in there this AEW figure is not tight in the sense that it's like tight to where it's like annoying it is very good again the unrivaled figures man way different than, un than unmatched. There's only a few unmatched figures that don't have that like stiff leg problem or stiff joint problem. He does pop off right there and there's uh, there's that. So if you guys were wondering, that's what the lower torso looks like and then you plop this over this and then you plug in your top part. But you know, the ab crunch isn't the greatest. He can bend back a decent amount and he can shift side to side a little bit. You do get a little bit of waist swivel, not a ton. You do get the nice ball joints that spread all the way out. You get an upper thigh cut, you get the double jointed knee, which is nice. One one thing I've noticed about my figure is the shins are kind of loose. The shin articulation is definitely loose. Like, you can barely press it and it will. Like, it's not, like, ungodly but it's, uh, it's definitely noticeable. You do get a nice ankle rocker in there, but my biggest challenge is, like, trying to stand him straight up. Sometimes he will fall flat on his face just because of the, I guess, the loose shins and shoes. But for the most part, I think JR's getting the job done, you know? And I want to do some comparisons. For your JR figure comparisons, we got a suited body comparison, and this is our other suited body that we've seen so far from AEW. I don't think we've seen another suited body. I think this is the only one with the Unmatched Series 4. I think we are going to get more, of course. We do have a Brody Lee coming. We have Excalibur coming, Tony Schiavone. Don't have any of those yet, so we can't really compare those, see what the commentary team looks like up next to each other. However, we do have Taz, so we can look at what Taz looks like up next to JR there, and all these guys look good up next to each other. I'm glad to have all the uh, I'm glad to have all the suited bodies. I still think that Cody's the best figure out of the three. I just love this figure. I like the like slim pants and like the slacks. This figure just feels good godly in the hand to be honest but you know if you just want to play around with this i mean i don't know why you'd want to do this but you may be able to you know like plop these onto different legs uh let's just see i mean i don't know why you'd want to do that but you get a better ab crunch but yeah i don't know i don't know why you'd want to do that but you can do that and then if you want to put the you know the cody onto these pants or just to see what it looks like i don't even know if i can get that in there hold up yeah it doesn't even fit in there so 
waste of time. But that pretty much wraps up our Jim Ross action figure ringside exclusive AEW Unrivaled action figure review, man. I think this chair is tiny. Look at him. Just, just, a, it's a tiny chair, man. Nobody sits up in a spinny chair like that. There's no way, unless it's one of those tiny, like, $50 Walmart versions. And I know AEW goes all out. These chairs are bigger than this, man. I don't know if it's because they couldn't fit in the packaging or what the deal is, but I don't know. I don't like the scaling of the chair. You don't get a recline in there. But I think it gets the job done. It is a Jim Ross. I really like the head sculpt. I thought that it was going to have some issues. I think the sunglasses, I think the glasses could be a bit smaller. I think the hat's a bit warped. I wish it was made out of a tougher material so they wouldn't get warped so easy. The shins are a bit loose, and I don't like the cut in the jacket, I don't think. It's a very odd look to it. But overall, I like that we got a Jim Ross. I love that we have a suited body. I like the head sculpt without the glasses a lot, actually. I like the dry brushing that you get in there, the detail that you get in there. I like the accessories. I don't like the size of the chair, but it is a Jim Ross figure. I like that we're getting the outside the box kind of, you know, characters and stuff like that. I want all the roster, man. I, I think it's awesome. I think it really gives me nostalgic feels from Jax and stuff like that, and I'm sure they're going to continue to expand upon that. We may even see that today at All Out Fan Fest. Can't wait to see what we get. I will cover it on the channel, of course. But of course, if you want to grab this figure, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there and grab this figure if you would like. And this shout-out today is going to go to Delosophy. I don't think I shared this the other day, but I was so confused. This had 28 likes, and it says, I don't remember John Cena having an entire red torso tattoo with his logo on it. I have no idea what the hell that means, and I can't remember if I shared this with you guys or not, so I wanted to share it again. So he may get two shout-outs, but I didn't know what the hell this meant, uh, and I don't know why it has so many likes. I don't know what's going on. I guess he meant he he doesn't remember John Cena, John Cena having an entire shirt, like a red shirt with his logo on it, maybe, because we were talking about the Ruthless Aggression Elite. I have no idea, bro. It's weird. I... I don't know anything. I, I'm getting out of here, bro. I don't know. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a blessed one. You crossed the line. I've been